hey guys welcome to this quick tutorial it's your boy deep from deep photos today i'll be teaching you how i made this image and how i edited this image so this is the image without a cloud and then this is the final image so i will teach you how we went from here to here thank you and let's proceed so we're back to this image and this image of done basic skin retouching on it and I brightened up the image using curve so the next thing i would want to do is i would want this background because there's this um greenish tints here on the background i would like to blend it just to look the same so the first thing i would do is um i create a new layer then change the, um, the blend mode to color then go to brush I use the brush tool just drop my my flow a little maybe to 10 increase the brush size then sample the background color I want after sampling it and I just paint I just paint over there and then very simple it's it blends the color back to how this cloth is see before after before after yeah so the next thing i would do is um i'll proceed before i proceed to bringing in the the cloud what i'll do is i actually do like i i I like the image but and um, to make it look better and stand out just like I did on this image um, you notice that this side is a bit darker than it is in this image so what we're going to do is we're going to build the image up and to do that um, the first thing I would do is I'll create a new layer after creating a new layer just right under on top of my frequency separation I'll create a new layer there and that will make a selection of the subjects we'll make a selection of the subjects we'll pick our quick selection to just click on subjects select subjects uh, okay to select the subject we need to click on the layer that has the subject so let's say on this background layer select subject yep then let's refine our selection like this let's add to the selection we also need the background selected because we don't need we don't want it to affect the backgrounds too so we're selecting the background so with a selection like this all we need to do is now sorry we still need to refine it a little bit you don't have to be too precise but I mean precise with here just a little let me use this then add the selection here ah. add the selection okay so yeah we're here so what i'll do is i'll invert the selection command shift i or control shift i so i'm now selected i'm selecting the inner background without selecting the subject and selecting the outer background so um or the foreground <laughs> background <laughs> Yeah, so we're, we're going to now pick the gradient tool, then reset this to black. Then from here, all we'll do is we'll click outside and push light, a bit push shadow inside like this. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see it? Come to this side, push shadow this way. Can you see? But it's too much over there. So what we'll do is, um, first of all, I think let's just deal with the bottom parts like this first yeah 
the bottom part like this then we'll create another layer so we created a new layer so what we're going to do right now we're going to restrict the selection we're restricting the selection here and to do that what we'll do is we'll just pick this uh, polygonal lasso tool then hold your alt or option key click from here to here and then so we can take down the selection from from here so this time around we just want to build up the shadows up this way and then return back to the gradient tool on the gradient tool we we'll click this way push it up it looks too dark but we can still refine it later and all right we can refine it later so for now let's deselect it this bottom part we're going to fix it i'll show you how it's because the selection wasn't great but we'll fix it soon so all i need to do is if the shadow is too much i just drop the the opacity a little just to have this gradient to it and then to fix that bottom part of our selection what we can do is pick our normal brush to reduce the brush size and then all we do is just paint black over there you can do it try to spend time to to make it look clean and as it is right now um, I'm trying to I'm rushing through this tutorial just cut down the time yeah so this 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 um, it's a zoom I'm cool with it this way let me just group our shadows and maybe name it so see before and after before and after yes then the next thing we're going to do is um we are going to push we're going to bring in our background this is our cloud you can download backgrounds from onsplash.com there are free images there free everything is free you can go there to download whatever background you want to use so i'll just bring it in push it up all the way then reduce the size reduce it to the size you want uh just reduce the size and maybe here maybe here maybe here so i'm cool with the size this way so um what i'll do is I'll hide it, then go back to my background layer and run a selection of my subjects again. And when I'm done selecting the subjects, just need to refine it. Uh, let's use this instead. Uh, refine it and add this part. This part. This part. And after refining my selection then I'll return back to this layer invert the selection command shift I control shift I and then click on the what's it called the max button below here and yep we pushed it in pushed it back behind the subject but we still need it to we still need to push it behind the um, the curtains. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll make selection, go back to the background layer, click selection tool, select the curtain, select the curtain, select the curtain, select the curtain, yeah, maybe just yeah, just the curtain. Then return back to our background. Turn back to the background, then you can just pick a normal brush, push it to 100, and then paint. Oh. <laughs> you need to be selected on the max, sorry. Then switch it to uh, the black to the foreground, and then paint out the background from the cutting.
okay so we're here yeah and if you want to move the bag the clouds you want to increase the, the cloud but still maintaining your your what's it called and you still want to maintain your max what you do is you see this chain here unchain it then you can now click on the cloud here you can expand you can expand the cloud you can move the cloud but you still maintain but be careful about the site because you know the max didn't reach this point so let's assume we want it around here and maybe push it up a little and and then we we'll cool that way you just press okay so let's assume we're cool with where our background is so what we're going to do now to make it blend better to make it blend better we are going to return back to our gradient tool we'll be using a lot of gradient gradient tool here then go back to our max bring back your, your chain your link <laughs> bring it back then then all we just do is we're selected on the layer here we use black our black to hide you know black height then we'll click from here to this point so that the gradient is smooth see just push it this way we notice here it's becoming transparent and transparent so it's blending gradually blend it gradually we'll push it all the way up just to make it blend better or if that is too much bring it back the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to blend the colors of the cloud background and the main background. So to do that, we're going to pick hue saturation, clip it to the cloud, then use this picker, then we select the, the color, which is cyan. Then try to make it close to our background as possible around here, then desaturate it a little uh let's say let's say around here desaturate a little bit more there and then the next thing i'll do is click on the, the cloud background and then reduce the opacity to 40 to 40 and it looks blended so what i want to do now is i need to darken this part of the the, the cloud so what we are going to do is just keep selected on this um this layer then we'll click a new added background which is going to clip itself to the cloud layer then go back to um gradient map make sure you're using black and then this gradient has to be the transparent gradient um, has to be transparent like it has to be transparent you need to select this then push this a little yes and then push this a little bit more push it a little bit more push this a little bit more and I think see it looks good and it looks blended and that is how I, I add to my background so thanks guys make sure you subscribe share like comment on my video so i can create more content for you guys you can comment your questions and i'll try my best to answer the best way i can see you guys in the next video bye